Hey guys and welcome to beautiful sunny California. Yes, it is once again a beautiful sunny day here in Los Angeles. And in this episode, we're going to be focusing on the North Hollywood area of Los Angeles and more precisely on the NoHo Arts District, which is a really cool district. And as the name says it, it's very artistic. There's a lot of theaters, uh, places to eat at, have coffee at, uh, a lot of artwork that is on the buildings and it is a really cool place and especially for me having lived in Los Angeles for so long, I have really seen a big change in this area. It used to be kind of run down but throughout the years and especially recently they have been building a lot of new structures and there's a real rejuvenation in this area so well. Without any further ado, let's explore. The NoHo Arts District is a community in North Hollywood, Los Angeles that is home to contemporary theaters, art galleries, cafes, and shops. The area features more than 20 professional theaters producing new work in classics, diverse art galleries, public art, and professional dance studios. The district also features the largest concentration of music recording venues west of the Mississippi. One thing that I wanted to highlight in NoHo is the fact that they actually have a metro station. And having lived here for over 20 years, I can attest to the fact that public transportation in Los Angeles is not that good. So when there are areas that have public transportation, you know that they are good areas. And here we have the red line, as I did mention. And this is really convenient because if you're coming here as a tourist and you don't have a car, well, you're going to have to take public transportation. And as I said, it's not good. But the Metro Red Line has the North Hollywood train station, which leads to Universal Studios and then also the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So if you're a tourist, this is a convenient place to come and visit because, well, there's a Metro right here and not a lot of places in Los Angeles have that. Today, the NoHo Arts District is being transformed into a regional center, in large part as a result of the construction of metro stations for the B Line and the G Line, two lines that have made the neighborhood into a regional hub for the San Fernando Valley. Medium and high density developments are being built around the metro station, making the Arts District a center of citywide development with the intent of creating a walkable urban village. Los Angeles may not be the oldest city in the world, but that doesn't mean that we don't have any history in it. And the building behind me is a historical building here in Los Angeles, which used to be the Lancashire Train Depot, which was a very important place for transportation of agriculture with trains all over California and some other places in America. And it was built in 1896 and remained operational till 1952 and was already considered a historical place and deemed a historical place since 1911. But after 1952, it stopped being used and it remained pretty much empty for all that time until 2017 when they made and converted this building into a coffee place called Groundwork Coffee. And as we well know in America, they do love their coffee. And it is kind of cool that they're using the building that is historical and making use of it in our modern day. It's really cool. And as we know, Americans love their coffee. So this is a great place to go. The Southern Pacific was a class one American railroad network that existed from 1865 to 1996 and operated largely in the Western United States. Since the opening of the Red Line Metro station in 2000, transit-oriented developments have been the predominant theme around the station area. So it's not too much of a surprise that Groundworks Coffee became a popular coffee shop built inside the NoHo Historic Train Depot. You know when an area of Los Angeles has become gentrified, when they have vegan places. And right here in NoHo, they actually have every Sunday the Vegan Exchange, which is a really cool little uh, block street that has a ton of different vegan trucks that offer different kinds of foods and drinks and it's all to promote vegan food and kind of really cool because in America well we are known to love our sugar and also to have a lot of obesity but in California we are pretty health conscious so the fact that they have all of this vegan food and all these vegan places does show that people are starting to be a little bit more conscious about their health and yes if you're here on Sundays do come to the vegan exchange. The vegan exchange was a welcome surprise when I passed by it and shows again how much the neighborhood is evolving. As for the vegan exchange event itself, this is a weekly 100% vegan market featuring local food, beverages, apparel, cosmetics, and lifestyle vendors. The list of vendors rotates from week to week, but as the name of the event says it, everything is vegan. 
while walking through this arts district, I did want to highlight one building which is behind me and it's called the El Portal Theater. And this building is a really cool place, first of all, because it's existed since 1926 and it's known for its velvet shows and screening of silent films and award-winning movies, but also because I used to work here for a little period of time over 10 years ago, so it kind of has a close place in my heart, but it's still operational up to this day. It is split into three theaters. It is a very large theater with about 1,400 seats. But being in the Norco Arts District, well, there isn't just one theater. This is the big theater. We have a ton of other really smaller theaters, a lot of 99 seat theaters and a little bit above that. So yes, when you are here, do try to uh, catch a show. If you want a big show, El Portal. If you want a smaller, more intimate show, well, there's a lot more theaters in this area, but they're all worth checking out. Even though El Portal Theatre first opened in 1926, it did close for a couple of years after sustaining damage during the 1994 Northridge earthquake. After the earthquake, the El Portal was meticulously rebuilt in the late 1990s and opened back in January of 2000 by the Actors Alley Acting Company in partnership with the building owners. Something that is pretty astounding here in the NoHo Arts District is the number of new buildings that are being built. And some of them are really cool and super well decorated, like the one that's next to me right here, which is called the NoHo Commons, which is a combination of apartments mixed in with a bunch of stores on the bottom front side of the building and even a supermarket. And again, looking at all of these new structures and stuff really shows how much they really care about this area and how much this area is probably going to become even more upper class even though I must admit they do have quite a few homeless people too right here and especially because of the events that happened last year uh, there are uh, even more homeless people but I think that a lot of this is changing little by little and still once again looking at all of these really cool decorations on these buildings makes it even more special and I just love it because at the same time it kind of makes these buildings more part of the arts district well because they are completely covered with art. The huge mural covering the lofts of the Noho Commons is titled Freedom Boulevard. It was created by French artist Thierry Noir, who spent three months painting the building. He is best known for painting cartoon-like figures on the Berlin Wall before it was torn down in 1989. The 100,292,000 unit loft apartment was the first segment to be completed of Noho Commons, part of a transit village. The Noho Commons construction and development consisted of three phases, completing with the construction of the Lemley Theatre. Adjacent to the main busy street, there's a little plaza that maybe not a lot of people would actually visit because they just don't know about it, even though it's gorgeous. And it's a plaza that is filled with a bunch of Emmy Award related stuff. Well, because it is the plaza that is hosting the Television Academy, and the Saban Media Center. And this plaza is, as I said, filled with a lot of Emmy stuff, including a 27-foot Emmy statue that is in the middle of that plaza. And then there's a bunch of other statues of Emmy award-winning actors from the past, executives, producers. And it is just really cool and a little bit more quiet than the main street. And yes, this is the capital of Hollywood, the capital of movie making. So it's not a surprise that they have all these Emmy related offices and buildings right here in the NoHo Arts District. The Academy of Television Arts and Sciences is a professional honorary organization dedicated to the advancement of the television industry in the United States. Founded in 1946, the organization presents the Primetime Emmy Awards, an annual ceremony honoring achievement in U.S. primetime television. In addition to recognizing outstanding programming through its Primetime Emmy Awards, the Television Academy publishes the award-winning Emmy magazine and through the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Foundation is responsible for the Archive of American Television, Annual College Television Awards, Fred Rogers Memorial Scholarship, acclaimed student internships, and other educational outreach programs. I found this cool sign which reads, the crane kick is not a real karate move. And yes, since we are in North Hollywood, this is a little nod to the Karate Kid because the Cobra Kai Dojo was located in North 
Hollywood and well yeah NoHo is in North Hollywood but with this I think that I'd like to end this vlog I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming on this visit of the NoHo Arts District and if you did enjoy it please be sure to subscribe hit the like button leave me a comment too let me know if there's other locations that you'd like me to visit in the LA area or maybe some other state you'd like me to go to I could probably make that happen have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video